Welcome to the College of Arts and Sciences at Minot State University's two minute lecture series celebrating our liberal arts, arts heritage here on campus, around the state and beyond. Today we have Charles Young from the music program and he will be speaking to us on the depths of knowing. Without any further ado, here is Charles Young. Thank you. Uh, well, despite the lofty title of this lecture, um, all I really want to do today is present to you two anecdotes that beg the question, uh, how well do you know what you know? Consider the phrase, when in Rome. Uh, now, most of us know what that means and when to use it. Uh, but beyond that, we have a basic understanding of what the Roman Empire was. Uh, we know that that phrase is actually a shortened version of a longer idiom, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And we know the implications of that full idiom. There's a lot packed into our understanding of those three words. Hajime mashite is a Japanese phrase that is used in approximately the same situations that nice to meet you would be used in English. But it doesn't actually mean nice to meet you. Uh, literally translated, it means something like it is started. It implies that a potential relationship is realized in the moment that we meet someone and it begs for a positive future to that relationship. It's an abbreviated idiom remarkably rich with implication. Now in order to truly understand how and why it works as a greeting, I would have to have an understanding of the nuances of Japanese language and culture, but basically I know how to say it and I know when to use it. I don't really know enough to explain why it means what it means, and therefore I don't know enough to improvise with it. Uh, I lack fluency. In 2016, I competed for and won the opportunity to play a very difficult solo on saxophone with a, a company by a symphony orchestra. Now, one of the conditions of the competition was that the performance was to be memorized, but in 17 years uh, as a performer, I had never memorized anything for solo performance. This was a very big task. In preparation to play with the orchestra, I performed that same piece with piano accompaniment uh, at a recital about six weeks prior to that concert. Now, I had already prepared a successful memorized performance of the piece for the judges of the competition. I practiced until I knew the piece, but the stakes for the recital were different. Uh, there were many more people in attendance. There were uh, people, uh, friends and family, whose, uh, whose opinions that I, I valued greatly. And I had to play five other pieces on that same program. I found out then that the stresses and anxieties of that particular performance were enough to interfere with my concentration. The performance actually fell apart. Um, I had to re uh, coordinate a restart in the middle of the piece in front of the audience. It was uh, quite embarrassing for me. But that experience revealed to me the lack of depth in my practical knowledge of the piece. It changed how I was preparing for the larger concert with the orchestra. I practiced until there were no conditions under which I would fail to perform the piece perfectly. No matter what, the uh, piece would sing out of my instrument with or without my conscious input. Um, I was going to be fluent in that piece. Now, Ultimately, the performance with orchestra ended up being the most significant performance of my career to date. I knew the piece so well by that point that I was able to take risks and improvise uh, different parts of the presentation in ways that ended up being very highly impactful. Now I ask you, what have you learned in your time here at Minot State? What are you learning this week? What do you hope to learn before your time at MSU is up? And as you consider these questions, ask yourself, how well do you know what you know, and how well would you like to? Thank you. 